Vaynerd here, back with another video. As you saw in the run that I posted today, our robot completed the pull-up bar mission and a few others in its final run. The catch is that the robot has to hang itself. Now, the problem with that is if you're an attachment team, like ours, your attachment simply lifts off. So if you're using something to lift your robot off the ground without anything else, it quite possibly won't work because the attachment will just lift itself and come completely off the robot and your robot will not be supported. Now I'm going to tell you how you can fix that and do the pull-up bar mission easy in this, in this week's video. I hope you enjoy! And as you read by the title, this technique is called pinning. Funny, because it actually doesn't use pins. It uses axles. This is an original technique and what I do is I have something like these holes right here. If you're having a base robot, this is extremely helpful, especially if you're an attachment team. Also, be fair warning that this is a box robot. I use box robots and I highly encourage them for more experienced teams, as I said in my box robot versus non-box robot video. So these have holes in them, the plates. They also work if you're using these O pieces, which are light gray. All you have to do is simply slide the pins into here. These also don't have to be used with a pull-up bar mission. And since they're axles, they're super easy to slide in and out, unlike pins. And now your attachment is effectively connected to your robot. I'm, as you can see, I'm only using my one hand to hold the attachment, and it's also pulling up the robot. In addition, you can also put it in other places. I built a little attachment thing here, so I can place a pin in here to support the robot even more. This is super quick, as you can see. Especially if you have two people running the board. And pinning can be super useful for the pull-up bar mission, if you're an attachment team, to hold it on. This can also be used when your attachment seems to be coming off your robot, especially if you're a young, if you're a just beginning team and you generally have smaller attachments. This is a pretty huge attachment, but we only use this for one run. And you don't need a huge attachment to complete this task, although we do have one because it generally takes up a lot of space the way we do it. I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. It was a short one, but I hope it helped because sliding these pins into the holes can really help you attach your attachment even better to your robot. Signing off for now. Bye. And this was the Wordy Nerd 48 channel.